what's going on guys this is unknown soldier and I'm gonna be bringing you a short little gameplay here of my opinions on the AK-12 and you're gonna see what I do here at the beginning I get a, it'd be a little bit of a sneaky tactic you can get up on top of these crates and shoot down the other team while they're still invisible in the beta you know and right here I neutralized we, uh, we traded kills with each other right there but you can get up on top of that crate and you can actually capture the objective from up there if you, if you guys didn't know that. So it's a nice little head glitch for those of you trying to be sneaky and trying to capture objectives and, you know, be cautious. And you can see right here, um, I poke my head out, get the kill, and my teammate ran up behind me. I'm <laughs> trying to run out the doorway and I get killed. Thank you, squad mate, for uh, helping me out there. But I'm going to show you guys a little bit how I play. I'm starting to get used to the beta now. And, uh... I posted some gameplay before using the AK-12, but I, you know, I was kind of rusty, not really on point with the gun yet. And I'm finding that this gun's more something you use in more like a competitive game style. It's not. Uh, I mean, there's there's more hard hitting weapons in the beta right now. There's the scar. Uh, there's the AC. There's the carbines. You know, but I just feel like this is the most comfortable thing for me. It reminds me of the AEK from Battlefield 3, which I had, used to use a lot just to do the accuracy right there. I just sniped that guy off of the back crate using this assault rifle. Just if you if you're used to the the tap glitch, what you can use with the different assault rifles, you just tap and it's super accurate. Like you just I don't I never find myself holding the trigger down for more than like you know half a second, unless you know obviously they're right right in front of me. You don't need to tap, but if you tap glitch. I'm not even sure if it's a glitch, but you can see right here I'm head glitching and you can actually capture the objective behind these crates as well. Just something for you guys if you guys didn't know. Um, but this gun is super accurate. I feel like, you know, I'm not sure if it's the Cobra sights because I'm used to, I like, I think the Cobra sights are my favorite sights to use in the Battlefield 3. Uh, I don't feel like the red dot sight. It can be really accurate, but it, I don't know. Just something about the way this looks is just really comfortable. And. What am I doing right here? Get up on top of here, trying to look down and see what's going on. Don't see anybody looking on the roof. Still don't see anybody. And that's the thing is, if whenever I'm looking up at the roof, trying to kill people, um, I always get shot in the back, shot by somebody else. Right here, I'm trying to pick up these man tags. Give me your sandwich. Give me that tags. Yeah, picked up his tags. Picked up the kill. And what am I doing right here? Throwing a med pack. But it just feels like this is the most comfortable gun for me right now. I mean, I'm running around just messing around with uh, submachine guns, the the carbines, the sniper rifles. I haven't really used the support class that much. From what I've heard, people have said that the, the support class is pretty overpowered. I'm a, I picked up some shotguns, and I've heard people say that um, domination is probably going to be mostly controlled by the shotguns in this game, which was kind of surprising. You didn't see people really abusing shotguns too much in Battlefield 3. Uh, maybe in like the, the close quarters map packs, you know, like the domination, conquest domination type games, you know, or with the spas. But you don't really see it too much in this game, you know. And you see right here, I'm hip firing, don't need a laser sight. Um, I don't use a laser sight mostly due to the fact that if you're looking down a hallway and you're trying to play sneaky and not let the other team see you, you're like laying prone, if they see that laser sight, they're going to know exactly where you are and you're probably going to get picked off pretty fast. I mean, you can take the laser sight. I mean, I guess you could turn it on and off, but I, I mean, every time you spawn, it's going to be on instantly. I just don't like having to turn it off. I don't know. It might change with my opinion later, but I just don't, I don't really hip fire that much. And if I do, it's only because you're rushing me and I'm going to be like pretty much touching you. So I'm going to go ahead and hip fire and I mean, there's not that much. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably not going to miss my shot if you're that close to me, you know? But, I mean, I don't know. So far, in this, like I said in the beta, this is my favorite gun to use. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be like this in the, you know, the full game. There's going to be a lot, a lot more weapons to, to choose from. Um, especially in the different classes. You know, I might find a different weapon I like. I'm not sure how the, if, you know, if they're bringing back all the same weapons from Battlefield 3. If they do, I'll probably choose something else. This is probably, you know, one of the, like, the first weapons you unlock in the, in the full game, so... You know, obviously there's going to be better weapons out there. But you can see right here, look at this. I'm getting knifed and my teammate actually pulls that guy off of me and takes his tags instead of mine. Which is pretty cool. That's the first time that's actually happened to me in this game. And you can see right here, what am I, what am I about to do? Right here, I'm using my uh, grenade launcher pretty tactically. I expose these guys. They're kind of just hiding back here, taking this objective. And I think I ended up picking up the three-piece right there. So, I mean... 
I found out in the assault class that I don't really like running around with defibrillators trying to revive people because it gets you killed. And look at these guys up there. I don't even know how these guys got up on that little ledge right there. I didn't even know that was a spot you can get up on top of. But I found that trying to pull out your defibrillators and revive people, it's really sloppy, it takes too long, and it takes it probably takes like twice twice as long as it did in Battlefield 3. If not like three times as long, I don't know. And that's just bad bad spawn right there on me. Guy got shot in the back. But um, it takes too long, it feels sloppy, and I'd rather run around with a grenade launcher, even though I don't look at this, look at this guy right here. I'm this isn't even a guy, this is like what like it's a dead person that's just been laying there prone and if right here wouldn't let me run through the door I'm trying to figure out like what's going on what up beta <laughs> it wouldn't let me run through the door so I had to run around and but yeah like I said I don't use the grenade launcher to like really necessarily kill people I use it mostly for like tactical gameplay like right here on the side and that left side over there uh, when people lower down the windows you can pull out your grenade launcher and you can blow up the, the the windows or whatever. You see right here, I'm gonna use my grenade launcher again, and not necessarily to kill the guy, which I did, but it was more to like expose him so I could shoot him. But I guess I ended up killing him, and it's just it gets it really annoying. Hit people um, when they spam the M320s in this game. It's just I mean there I know there's the actual grenade launcher that's a pickup weapon on the side, the back side of the map. Um, but you know, they're actual M320s that people just spam constantly getting on top of the roof. I don't know. I don't really like the fact that you can get up on top of the roof in this domination gameplay. It serves really no purpose. I mean, I'm sure, you know, there's different levels, and that's probably what they're trying to promote in this game, you know, the levolution type of uh, feel. But getting on top of that roof just serves no real purpose. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, <laughs> some people get, get up there and snipe, throw C4 down, and spot people but it's like really out of the way and it just gets really annoying when people you're not capturing objectives you're not doing anything on top of the roof you're just sitting up there trying to annoy people and troll them like I don't know I've, I found myself doing that a few games um, just like my team sucks really bad so I'll be a sniper and even though my team's losing by like hundreds of points I'll just go ahead and just camp up there and keep sniping at people even though I'm not doing anything I know I'm doing it look at this kid Pulls out his MP20 and shoots me right in the face with a, a grenade launcher, which is kind of ridiculous. And look right here, I spawned, didn't even see this guy, and I'm not sure how he didn't kill me. Probably should have pulled out his pistol, but he didn't. But I think this game is coming down to an end here. I, I ended up picking up 37 kills in this short little gameplay. And pull this pistol out, pick up this kid with a hip fire, and get shot in the back. Because that seems to be how I always die in this game for some reason. I always get shot in the back. Always spawn on somebody I shouldn't have, you know. You know how that works. Pick up this kill right here. Ended up going uh, 37 kills, 6 deaths. And I could have picked up more kills, but obviously you can see right there. My team absolutely dominated them. Uh, so the, the game ended fairly quickly. And no one else uh, even got to above 15 kills, I believe. And I'm just like waiting here letting you guys see with my... Uh, different unlocks but there you go guys there's a scoreboard let me know what you guys think about the beta so far and all the crashes and how much you enjoy playing it i'm getting kind of bored of it myself but this is just the beta there's always going to be you know more game types and different game modes in the full game but as always guys this has been unknown soldier thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later peace